1968, the Beatles released a breathtaking masterpiece. When we first did it, we didn't know what it would be or how it would work, and it's a mammoth record, and the material is very diverse. really enjoyed it and we got it such a kick out of it we all got a bloody tattoo which was odd because the, the tattoo that we got is a dolphin reclining on a on a lounge smoking a bomb <laughs> um quite while we did that I'm, I'm not sure it was a group thing to hear those songs live i mean you can't you can't go on youtube and look up the beatles playing anything off the white album because it just it just didn't Blackbird singing in the dead of night. I would never do this show without this exact group of people. It's not a tribute show. It's a, you know, it's it's us performing these great songs as ourselves. You want to reinterpret it, not be in some way disrespectful, but then also thinking rock and roll is about being disrespectful. So. The White Album, 50 years on, four of Australia's rock legends performed the White Album in concert. Live and track by track. Chris Cheney, Phil Jamison, Josh Pike and Tim Rogers with an ensemble of Australia's finest musicians. The White Album is a really diverse record. It's hard to sum up and I think that's the beauty of the record. That's why so many people love this record. There's other shows that just kind of put together all the songs and this has, it's the record as it was designed to play from start to finish. Let's do it! You know it's the White Album concert is a rock tour de force. Don't pass it by. Go to whitealbumconcert.com for full details. <laughs>